I think this is gonna work. Looks pretty cool. Okay, this feels really weird. It's like aggressive. Mm, mm. Um. <gasps> Did I break it? Oh, burnt. Oh, bad, 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 bad. It was going so well. Hi, I'm Alexis, and I'm a chef who's always up for a challenge. Today, I'm making a three-course meal with an appliance that the internet has chosen for me. I'll be tasting everything myself, and I have no idea what's in this box. Let's see what it is. Kettle! This is great! This is great! I use this every single day, and it gets hot. I've actually, you know... <laughs> My stove was broken for a few months and I really wanted to make eggs and I actually made it in a kettle and I was at home and I was like, oh my God, I'm chef out of water at home in real life. So I feel really good about this. Confidence is like a 10. I feel great. Famous last words. I know there's a lot you can do with a kettle because it's boiling water. So I'm feeling really good. I love giving myself a theme and I think today's theme is going to be like summer picnic for one. That's my plan. I'm gonna kind of wing it this time and see what inspiration hits as I go. I think confidence level, nine. Let's get started. First step, the summer bean medley. I haven't even gotten started and I feel so excited about like this bean situation. Heat up water. Easy, I can do that. And then let's just turn it on. Maybe I'll start with snap beans. I don't totally have a vision for how this is gonna look, shocker, um, but maybe just on the bias. I think I'm just gonna put the steamer basket in here. My impatient side is like, it's starting to bubble, like I can just do it now. But I know to properly blanch vegetables, you really need boiling water, so I just need to be patient. So my kettle when it's done makes a like bing sound. Do I just wait? Do I take it off? I mean, look at that. This is boiling. Okay. Yes, it, it did it. It made a little sound. Okay. So I'm just going to pour it over my beans. Beautiful. See how bright and green that is? That's what you want. Nice little bean. And taste one. Okay. So the color's right. I'm feeling a little skeptical that they're gonna get to the right consistency. Just hanging out in hot water. So I'm going to just pop them back in. I also, uh, sorry, I forgot the peas. Just straight up forgot the peas. So everything's gonna go back in here. While that's boiling, I'm gonna prepare an ice bath. So since the kettle shuts off once it starts to boil, I wanna add these in like a little before. Okay, there's some bigger bubbles happening. I think this is safe to add. This is not my finest plan. Looks pretty cool. I like that I can see what's happening here. Okay, I think I am gonna stop it so it doesn't overcook. Pour it in here. And then look at this, magic, magic hour. This ice water is just gonna stop them from cooking. And they don't have to send the ice water too long. This is probably good when it feels like cold, cool. That's kind of the sign that you can pull them out. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful beans. I'm gonna grate some garlic in here. Not much, look at clove, lemon zest, olive oil, lemon juice. So pretty, it's so fresh, summery, seasonal, yum. So good. I also have some ricotta salata here, which is, you know, you know ricotta, this is like the saltier cousin. I'm just gonna plate that up. Oh, I forgot that there was tarragon. I think it adds like such a nice, like floral anise flavor. Maybe some flaky sea salt. I think we're done. My confidence level is a 10. The bean salad went really well. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic for my chicken salad. It's gonna be like chicken salad on an open face sandwich. Very summer picnic for one appropriate. Okay, this is weird. I'm gonna try to poach the chicken in the kettle. I have chicken tenders here rather than chicken breast because I thought it might cook faster. Just your average day putting chicken in a kettle. I think I should save some as a backup just in case something goes awry. I also want to infuse the poaching liquid, you know, add Again, more flavor, broken record here, some peppercorns. I thought these little like tea things would be cute. Maybe I'll just add like the whole half of the one. Some thyme. <laughs> Lemon. Okay, just gonna fill it up with water. <laughs> here we go. We wait. 
So while that's going, I guess I'll just start on the salad part. It looks like the chicken's already starting to change color. I set the kettle at 200. Chicken should reach 160, 165. It'll cook for a few minutes after. Oh, it's totally cooking. Look, you can see this raw part and around it looks cooked. Some chives. Maybe some red onion. It smells pretty good. It's definitely not done. Okay, 118, 119, 120. Okay, this still has a ways to go. If I put it on right now, it's gonna shut off because it shuts off when it starts to boil. So I think I need to give it a few minutes. Just hang in there, little chicken. But it's totally cooking. I also realized I forgot to add a bay leaf. So I'm gonna do that now. Moving on to the parsley. On. Do your thing. Some celery leaves. I'm gonna add some mayo. I see, it shut off. Okay. How do I do this? So I think what needs to happen is I need to just like let it cool. Maybe I'll temp it again. Oh, 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 maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. 162. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna press the warm function and let it like stay warm for a few minutes, like just so I can ensure that it's fully cooked through. Okay, okay, we're poaching chicken in a kettle. Ooh, it is very hot. I feel confident, I just feel weird about it, you know? Okay, I guess I'll try a... Slamming. Wow. Oh my god. Mmm. Okay, confidence 10. This is amazing. That is a good chicken salad. We all do like... Just halves. I feel like there's a cute way to do this. I'm just gonna do a not so cute way. I feel like, you know, usually there's more of a challenge and I, I just, it's just weird that that worked so well. Celery leaves. This is like maybe the best chicken salad I've ever made. I feel like this fruit situation, like it can only work. My kind of vision for this, this like pre-made cake. You know, I'm not making it in the kettle, but like, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. But I think I could toast it in the base, then make a fruit compote and then put some vanilla ice cream, like, you know, like kind of a strawberry short cakey, pound cakey, summer picnicky thing. Sounds really good. Will it work? Who knows? Strawberry rhubarb, classic combination. Um, okay, I'm gonna add some lemon zest. This is weird. Some lemon juice, maybe a little butter, sugar, ghee in a compote. And I think because of the kettle, it needs like a tablespoon or two of water. I guess we wait. Confidence level, apprehensive. Yeah! I think this is totally gonna work. It's very ferocious. Oh, it's really steaming. Wow, that is like really good. I think this is like totally working. Oh my God. It's like aggressive. Oh, ow, it's hot. Oh God. Okay, if I learned anything from the chicken, I think I'm gonna let it cool for a minute, bring it down, and then start it again so it comes back to a boil. I think it needs to cook longer, so just hang out, little compote. <laughs> gonna cut some pound cake. My idea is to toast this in the bottom. The good thing is there's a lot of pound cake, so if this messes up, I can do it again. The kettle. The kettle is like the MVP of the appliance world. Look at those bubbles. It's like fully boiling. I mean, I, I, I think it's done. It's done, it's delicious. I'm so confused. Okay, okay, Whoa. It's a little liquidy, but I think that's okay. I also just wanna clarify that this is not the chicken kettle. The chicken kettle has been retired. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is put some butter in the bottom, melt it, get it hot, have it start to like bubble, and then add the cake. Cause I'll just drop a drop a cake in. <sighs> I don't know, we'll see you soon. Okay, it seems like it shut off, hold on. Oh no, now it's not turning on. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is more like a butter soaked piece of cake. I, I, I'm I, at a loss. Okay, it's just not working. Is it broken? Let me just see if it's broken. 
Oh my god, I think it is broken. Did I break it? <gasps> Did I break it? I'm gonna go to a backup kettle, then I'm gonna come back and try again. I believe this can work. I'm gonna try it without the butter. Feels unlikely that that's gonna work, but the light's on, so that's promising. Okay, it is smoking, which seems positive, but it did just shut off. Bad. <laughs> oh, burnt. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Oh, oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. Oh, that smells terrible. It is um, not really what I was looking for. This, this is more like blackened rather than toasted. So I think I'll try a little bit of butter. Wait, does it turn on? This is the straw that broke the camel's back. It's a happy camel before, but uh, yeah, it's not turning on again. And it is still smoking inside. So this is like the saddest thing I've ever done. Maybe if there's ice cream and compote, it's totally fine. I don't feel great about this. Confidence level, like, low. <laughs> rustic. This is a rustic picnic theme. And maybe a little bit of salt on it, a little sweetness, a little, it's elevated, look at that. Cement? Okay, it's summer, guys, it's summer. Who doesn't wanna eat this? I felt so confident about the last two, and I feel like this is not my best work. I kind of feel like this is as good as it's gonna get. I think it's cute. I'm gonna taste it. That was such a roller coaster of emotions. I feel like I started on such a high, you know, and then I put two kettles out of service. So my confidence right now is like, I don't know, it's still high. I'm at an eight. First up, bean salad. Mmm, this is lovely. With the tarragon, with the ricotta salada, it's like an incredible combination. I mean, honestly, like 10, 10, it's great. Chicken salad, I feel like I ate so much of it already. It's like the best chicken salad I've ever had. A 10, it's a 10. Probably like a 20, 50. It's so good. Now this. <laughs> Fruit situation. I mean, wow. The compote's the real star here and it's like the kettle for the compote. I would legitimately do that again in life. Like that is, it's, it happened so fast. The toasting of the pound cake, I'm gonna say, not the best move. It's totally fine because only a third of it got toasted. Toasted. Burnt, but it's fine. We don't like, we don't even need to talk about that part. This is, it's delicious. It's delicious. Mm. All in all, a truly awesome meal that I would make for myself. I'd make it for my friends. Like it, it is so good. And I don't think anyone would ever know that this was done in a kettle, which is really the whole point, right? Let me know in the comments what you would make in a kettle. I'm dying to see. I'll see you next time.